Attorney General Faris Alwari said the prison authority has confirmed there's a large number of people incarcerated for failure to pay fines for marijuana-related offences. He said when the cannabis bill is proclaimed on Monday, most of these people will be able to take advantage of the new law which decriminalizes marijuana. Essentially, this means, depending on the quantity related to the offence, those fined and imprisoned are likely to be discharged and removed from the system. That we have situations where people are in incarceration for a fine of $1,000 or for three months, a fine of $5,700, a fine of $3,500, a fine of $2,400. We spend approximately $25,000 a head per month to keep people in incarceration. Mr. Alwari said another one of the positives coming out of the proclamation of the cannabis bill will be reduced gang-related activity in this country. The decriminalization strikes to the heart of gang activity in an illicit trade. If all of a sudden the trade is no longer illicit because somebody has a market point to say, well, hey, I don't need to buy your black market ganja. I could grow it home then the gang culture, the other structures, etc., fall into serious jeopardy because you're taking away the profit from their illicit trade. He said, too, people need to exercise a great level of responsibility when using marijuana. He said a person could face the full brunt of the law if found smoking in the presence of minors. The AG also said his ministry was moving towards finalizing a policy for the introduction of drug -alizer devices to address drug-impaired driving in Trinidad and Tobago. Crystal Wilson, TTT News.